couple number of days ago i did a video on a loan management app but i have received this client that wants a minimalistic app and uh, i needed to build a custom minimalistic app for them and i'd like to show you the progress so what this client wants is basically an app which can manage loans people can do an application and then the application can go through an approval and once approved uh, then they will get notified and then the loan is going to be managed within the system so what they want to do is that the applicants or rather the people who are applying for the loans are supposed to be doing that through an app through a mobile app so they are not going to be needing to log in anywhere to make any application to make the application they just download the app and they can make the application there so let me show you the progress so far of what we have in the back end here we have a loan application if i go here and I create a new one so this one i'm simulating uh, creating a new loan application here but remember i told you that this is going to be happening from a mobile app so we need the customer name we need the amount that they're applying for we can say for example this is ten thousand repayment periods in months we can say they're going to pay for 12 months which is ideally an year and then here we have interest rate in monthly we can say this is maybe 3.5 and this is a lot 3.5 per month is a lot but this is just an example then we save when you save we you notice that the system has automatically generated for us the repayment schedule or schedule and you see here it is also telling us that the total payable amount for this customer is going to be 14,200 and the 14,200 means that the amount here that is above 10,000 is the interest now when you come down here you see that it has also given you the dates when the payments are supposed to be due so the 25th of april 25th of may 24th of june 24th of uh, july all the way for the 12 months that the repayments are going to be happening the other thing is that the total amount that's supposed to be paid on this date is 1183.33 okay of this the principal amount is 833.33 and the interest is 350 so this one is not on reducing balance this one is a loan that is supposed to be paid so you pay the whole interest of 4200 whether you pay it once or you pay it in 12 months so it's not reducing balance right then here you notice that we have a status of unpaid and paid and paid for all of them these st statuses are going to be changing automatically when the loan is being processed now so that is what happens suppose we notice that we missed here the interest rate is not 3.5 but rather 1.5 so we just change here that is before it is submitted you see it is still in draft so if i change this to 1.5 and i save i want you to notice what happens to the interest rate and also what happens to this total amount so if i save that within a flash of a second this is updated and this is also updated so that is what is happening you don't have to redo the whole thing it is automatically going to recalculate everything and you see when this figure has changed so if i change this to two percent you see there you go that is what is happening let's leave it at one point maybe eight okay save it so this is the figures and then we go ahead and resubmit now when we submit this loan is now in the system it cannot be you cannot easily change it anymore unless you cancel it first now when this is done what we i have done is that i have done cron jobs such that when it is one week before this date it will automatically make the sales invoice for the client or for the customer but because i need us to see a sample today i want us to go ahead and simulate that's why i have this button here to generate a sales invoice so ideally when i click on this what happens when i click on this is what happens one week to this date so let me open a new tab and then i go to sales invoice at the moment you see we don't have any sales invoice here you can see but when i go here and i click on generate first of what happens is that it's telling us that an invoice has been generated and this status changes to invoiced and it picks the first invoice that one has been i mean the first uh, rep repayment here this one has been invoiced okay 
And now when we go to sales invoice, we also notice that we have a sales invoice there. There is something I wanted to show you. Let me show you as we progress. We go to here. I want to show you what happens to the loan statement. I want to select my customer. And you see, we have a loan statement here now. The loan disbursement amount is 10,000. But the remaining balance as at that date was 12,160 because of the interest. So the loan interest is 2,160 and the total loan amount is this one. And you can see that it's telling you that the principal amount is 10,000 and the interest amount is this, which makes this amount. And therefore the current balance is 12,160. So we have also already built the loan statement. Let's go ahead. So we have a, 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 an invoice here now, which was made by this. Now here we are saying that the principal amount is 833 and the interest is 180. I want us to pay 900 shillings so that you see what happens to the loan statement. Let's go here. And payments are going to be happening from here, which are manual. We are going to do this today, but again, this is going to be done automatically through an API when the customer makes a payment. So I click on a payment and then I pick cash as the mode of payment. And here, remember, we said we are going to pay 900. We are not going to pay the whole thing. So when I pay 900 and save, I need to submit this uh, payment entry. Loan, you see it's telling us that updated loan uh, repayment schedule to partly paid. Why is it partly paid? It's partly paid, first of all, because even the sales invoice is partly paid. Let's confirm. See here, we need to refresh this, reload. And you see this one now is partly paid. But that's not all. Let's go back to the statement and I want to show you something. Reload it. You see now here, we have a loan repayment for this loan. We have a loan repayment. And what the system has done, ladies and gentlemen, what we have done here is that every payment that comes, we are prioritizing principal repayments. So the whole amount of the principal has been recovered and then the balance has been moved to the interest. So this is the total repaid. And now the running balance of the loan as at this date is 113 uh, 26.67 right so that is what we have done now the only thing that we are left to do here ladies and gentlemen is to build the apis so within the next couple of days we are going to have the apis ready you can look at the statements you can see how you're going to be managing the payments and you can see how smart the uh, the loan payment schedule is even looking at it from the loan application